This year has been filled with ups and downs, twists and turns, highs and lows. But as a church community together, the people that make up mission have still been living on mission for God and for what He's called us to be. A community of people that offers tangible hope, extends practical help, participates in significant ministry, throws great parties, and has a kingdom impact. And regardless of what has happened in this world, we have still lived on mission in 2020. There is no greater picture of tangible hope than people surrendering their lives to Jesus and experiencing the hope that is found in Him. This year, even with services and community being online and virtual, still 85 people went public with their faith through baptism, surrendering to the leadership of Jesus and beginning to walk a new way. What an incredible time to find real, lasting, tangible hope. This year was definitely a year where we got to show up and extend practical help. Over $100,000 was given away through Give One this year and the support of local partners. This money very practically kept families in their homes, put food on the table, paid medical bills, covered utilities, fixed cars, provided help for counseling and recovering homes, paid funeral expenses, and so much more. We were able to provide local medical staffs with PPE that was hard to find, pay for two pop-up food pantries with FoodShare that provided for hundreds of families, and we gifted frontline workers $10,000 in gift cards from local businesses just to get Jim to shave his face. In addition to money given away, through item of the month, we have also brought practical help by stocking the food pantry for women and children transitioning out of homelessness, buying bedding and essentials for foster children, purchasing gifts for families that need help this Christmas. This year, we've seen so much good come out of significant ministry. Weekend services, mission kids, and mission students all pivoted in a three-day window to begin providing online content and engagement, which God has used in incredible ways. We also launched brand new online groups and initiatives like the Leadership Academy, Change Workshop, and Chaplain Training, which hundreds of people at Mission have gone through. More and more children, students, men and women are growing in their faith alongside others in significant ways, and that is what it's all about. And while this wasn't the year to throw some great parties the way that we're used to, there is still so much to celebrate. Having to cancel a night to remember our prom for special needs students was such a bummer, but through your generosity, Mission was able to give $50,000 for a new handicap accessible playground at Arroyo Verde Park that we hope will be a blessing to the special needs community for years to come. We were also able to gather in a pretty unique way at the Ventura County Fairgrounds a couple of times. We tailgated, we waved, we honked, we worshiped, and we had a safe place to invite our friends and neighbors, which is such a big deal. And in 2020, we continued investing in church planting, making a big kingdom impact all across the country and the world. This year, Mission gave $25,000 to help life-giving churches in places like Oakland, Brooklyn, and Lagos, as well as providing continued support for Mission City in Santa Barbara that we helped launch in 2018, and Slow City in San Luis Obispo that launched last fall. Both of those church plants have stayed on mission throughout this crazy year, and it's exciting to watch God reach people in those places. What a year. God has done so much in and through us this year, even though it has looked different. And we can't wait to see what He has in store for 2021. Let's continue to be a generous church made up of generous people who are making a real difference by living on mission.